so first of all, Ole, I wanted to ask you, what does it mean to you to be named as one of the honorary captains of the All-Star Game team? Well, for me personally, anytime uh, you get uh, you get asked to do something like that, um, it's, it's just a special honor because people recognize what you did. And uh, I've never been a player to really boast about myself or uh, pat myself on the back. And uh, when other people recognize that and, and invite me to, to an event like this, it's, it's very special. And then to have it here in Hershey, it was such a uh, historic city, not only um, obviously with, with, uh, with chocolate, but uh, with the franchise themselves. I mean, it's uh, probably one of the prominent franchises uh, in all of hockey. How did you find out uh, about the honor? Uh, you know what, I actually was invited to last year's uh, event in Portland. Uh, Byron DeFoe and myself were, uh, were both invited, but I, I had committed to a, a Disney cruise with my family, and uh, I couldn't, uh, my kids would have probably um, disowned me if I had a if I would have blown that off. So I was, I was really thankful that Dave called me again this year and, and invited me. And, and it's almost more special in that it is Hershey. I won a championship in Portland, but when you talk about the AHL, you talk about the Hershey, the Hershey organization. Um, I wanted to ask you also about, uh, this year we've noticed that uh, you've been around uh, more capital events. What was the catalyst for, for helping, that, helping make that happen? Uh, I was asked uh, um, by Ian Anderson back in, um, I want to say July or August uh, mm -hmm. to attend the uh, Capitals convention, and um, uh, I thought it was just a great way. I, I mean, whatever whatever differences I had, um, still wasn't uh, still wasn't going to take me away from the fans because the fans always treated me well there, and, and um, I just thought, you know what, uh, time heals all wounds, and you just move on. And uh, um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to be known as a Capital, not as a Tampa Bay Lightning or a Toronto Maple Leaf. It's uh, uh, Washington Capital, and uh, like I said, some fortunate things happened the way they did. But we've moved on, and now um, you know it, uh, I went to the convention, uh, saw the team at the Winter Classic, and um, and so uh, hopefully uh, be more and more involved with uh, any alumni stuff. Was it nice to see guys like Bonsai again? Oh, it's fantastic. Anytime you see your old teammates, I saw Bonsai. Uh, I saw Michael Bavanka, I saw Sylvain Cote, all those guys. I had actually dinner with Joe Ricci that night. Um, it's great because those are the guys you played with. I mean, those are the guys you went to the final with, and uh, and you have such great memories. It was it was just good to sit down and talk about the old days. Um, I did want to ask you: um, the Capitals haven't made it past the second round of the playoffs since you uh, backstopped the Kings to the uh, Stanley Cup Finals in '98. Um, what was the magic with that team? Uh, you know what, it really just, I don't know, I just think any time in the playoffs, uh, just everything has to go right for you. I mean, you asked the Capitals last year. Um, uh, they just didn't have that killer instinct in Game 5 to, to really snuff out Montreal's hopes, allow Montreal to get a uh, 2 nothing lead and, and, and allow the uh, the team to feel good about themselves, allow Halak to get back into it, and next thing you know, they, they lose in seven. Um, it's just, uh, it's a fine line, and for us that year, we were pretty much uh, healthy. Um, all the top teams that were that finished ahead of us uh, had all gotten eliminated, mm -hmm. and um, you know we actually uh, Ron Wilson uh, being our coach that year really made a big difference because you know in past past years uh, the team would be up three one in a series and find a way to lose, and uh, you know I remember us being three up three one against Boston. And, and uh, man, nobody wanted to admit it, but I think everybody in the back of their mind was going, well, here we go again. And Wills found a way to, to, uh, to get us to think differently. And, and uh, even though we lost game five, we came out with one game six. And, uh, and we thought, this is our time. We finally got the monkey off our back. And, and we beat Ottawa and uh, a great series against Buffalo. And obviously the Joey Juno goal, probably my most memorable uh, goal as a capital. And uh, uh, it's unfortunate that we Lost four straight to Detroit because I thought we were a better team than that, but I think deep down we maybe as a team didn't believe we could beat them. And just that little bit of doubt I think might have made a difference in the, in the series. Um, today, after uh, they uh, put up a video presentation of you, they had the fight between you and the oh, The dance. Yeah, the dance. Um, were you aware that that was going to happen? I had, a, I had a little bit of a feeling. Uh, I know they aired it last year when Byron was there and, uh, in hopes that I was going to be there too, but uh, I'm glad they allowed me, my chance to... Uh, give my side of the story and so uh, it's just one of those uh, comedic times uh, in my career and, and uh, it's just it was an odd thing seeing two goalies go at it but not really go at it, <laughs> two best friends and um, it's just a great story behind it. 
Well, you're a fan favorite because of your intensity, so that was, that was great. <laughs> it was always great to see. Um, I guess finally, I wanted to ask you, uh, what can we look forward uh, from you? We know that you did the Winter Classic stuff for NHL Live a, a few weeks ago. Uh, what can we look forward from you? You know what? I actually I, uh, I really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed those two days doing that. Uh, People had always told me that uh, that uh, I do a good job uh, in, in, in television, and uh, um, you know I really didn't know if I would, and uh, and they invited me to do it because I didn't really have anybody to give the Caps perspective. They had a ton of people from Pittsburgh that were there, and then so they invited me to do it, and I was uh, I really thought about it. And I said, you know what, why not? And uh, I had a blast. And so I don't know if that's something that's going to uh, happen more in the future. Um, I know they were happy with what, with what I did. And, but right now I'm focused on my junior team. We're having a, uh, probably have the best Americans team that the franchise has ever had right now. And, and we're in the battle. Uh, you know, we've got another month and a half of the season. And, um, so we to either work with the goalies and then we'll see what happens next year. And do you spend most of your time out in the West Coast now? Yeah, pretty much all my time. Yeah, we moved, uh, packed up and moved from Florida. And, and uh, we're going to try to see this full time. Well, thank you very much. It was really nice to see you. Yeah,